purpose of this video is to show the use of the optimization tool for steel members inside advanced design. This single base steel framework is made of columns, rafters, purlins, girds, wind bracings, and pin supports. In terms of loads, I have included the self weight of the structure, and I have also created two live load cases on top of the roof, as well as many load cases considering the wind acting in the X and Y directions. After creating some combinations, I can now perform the analysis, including the FE calculation and the steel design calculation. The process takes up to one minute for this type of structure. When my results are available, I can post-process them using the FEM results ribbon. For example, I can display the displacements for my dead load case, for my live load case, and also from one of the many combinations considered for this calculation, the ULS combination for example, I can also display the forces, let's say the moment for this combination, but also the lateral forces, and so on. In the steel design results ribbon, I can display the deflections, the maximum deflection for example, and also buckling lens, as well as the strength of the members. In terms of oblique moment, I can see that my work ratios are complying with the standards, but for example, for the lateral forces, my work ratio for the wind bracings is not good, so I have to change the cross-section of this member. I can use the steel um, suggested shapes here, the icon, I can see that the wind bracings are the only ones that are not complying with the standards, so I can accept the solution from advanced design and launch again my calculation. So after one minute of calculation, now I have my new results. I can see that in terms of work ratio for the lateral forces, now my wind bracings are complying with the codes. If I take a look again at the suggested shapes, I can see that advanced design is not suggesting me any other modifications in terms of cross-sections, so I can say that my model is now final.